Parents and their wards continue to express frustration following the opening of the Free Senior High School Placement Centre by the Ghana Education Service to facilitate self-placement and replacement of students in available schools in all categories except Category A schools. As guardians strive for their wards to be placed in various senior high schools, some persons have capitalised on the situation to defraud them. A young man who presented himself as an agent with the Ghana Education Service was on Monday, February 27, apprehended for allegedly defrauding a parent at the Ghana National Association of Teachers Hall in Accra. Barely 48 hours after the arrest, a second victim who allegedly paid a sum of 1,500 Ghana CDs to him to secure a school placement has come out. This unfortunate development comes after the Ghana Education Services caution to the general public to desist from engaging third parties in transactions with regards to the free senior high school placement exercise. A victim, Deborah Na Ajelesoa, narrates her side of the story to City News. We were here, that was last week Friday, to still do the placement for my sister. So we came to sit and I heard him telling a certain man that the man in the video, the man he frauded, that he should pay 1200 to him and that he will help him with the placement. So after we submitted the forms, I told my auntie that she should listen. I heard the man telling this man that he could help her out. He could help him out. So I told her that she should talk to the man. And we called him out and spoke to him. And he told my sister that, he would help her, but she has to pay 1500 mm. for one person. Mm. They were three. And my auntie said, okay. So when she got to the house, the man kept calling her to tell her that she should send the money so that by Monday, they will check the school and she will get placed. Mm. So when she got to the house, that was, I think, Saturday, she sent the man 1500 to um, help her with the placement. Mm -hmm. So on Monday we kept calling the man and his number was busy later, the phone was switched off and she came here. When she came here, she told me that when she came here she didn't find the man mm -hmm. and I said okay. So I, I came here on Tuesday after I, I closed from lectures to check whether I'll find the man. I didn't find him. So when I got home I was telling a friend of mine and he told me that a man has been arrested for frauding someone and I said then he should send me the video of the person to verify if it's the man we gave the money to and lo and behold it was the man. Meanwhile the police has begun investigations into the matter.